Chapter 5 More Features of Word 2016 Let's learn Finding and replacing a word or phrase Formatting paragraph Line spacing Alignment Adding header Adding footer Printing a document Finding and replacing a word or phrase Finding a word Many times you may need to find out where certain words or phrases are used in a document. This can be very different to do manually, particularly if the document consists of many pages. Word provide a feature to find such words and also replace them with other words. The find option in MS Word is used to search for a particular word or phrase in a document. Steps to find a word in a document 1. Select the Home tab 2. Click the Find option The navigation pane appears on the left side of the screen 3. Type the word or phrase you want to search for in the text box of the navigation pane 4. The occurrence of the typed word is highlighted in yellow throughout the document 5. Click the X sign to close the navigation pane. The highlight will disappear. Replacing a word At times, you may find that you have made a mistake while typing out your document, such as misspelling a person's name or phrase, which you now want to replace. In such instances, you can use the Find and Replace feature of MS Word to replace the unwanted word or phrases from the entire document at one you go. The replace option allow you to replace a word with another word in the entire document. 1. Select the Home tab. 2. Click the Replace option. The Find and Replace window appears. 3. In the Find Word text box, type the word you want to replace. For example, he. 4. In the Replace with text box, Type the word that you want to replace it with, for example, she. 5. Click the Replace option. 6. It highlights the text in grey color. 7. Now click the Find Text button to go to the next occurrence of the word you have given in the Find Word text box. 8. Click the Replace option to replace the word again. Now, you can also click the Replace All option to replace the word throughout the document in one go. The text will be replaced. 10. Click Cancel to close the window. Formatting Paragraph Indentation You know that a paragraph is a sequence of sequence? You can have many paragraphs in a Word document. All paragraphs usually have the same spacing between the left and right margins of a page. However, sometimes you may want to increase or decrease the spacing between a paragraph and the margins. You can do this by using the indentation feature of MS Word. You can decrease or increase the spacing between a paragraph and the page margins by using the decrease indent or increase indent options. Decrease indent it moves the paragraph towards the left margin by a fixed distance. Increase indent. It moves the paragraph away from the left margin and towards the right margin by a fixed distance. Keyword. Occurrence. Some action or fact that happens. Decrease indent. Increase indent. A paragraph without any indent. A paragraph after increasing its indent. Techie trip. You can select the text of the entire document by using the shortcut key Ctrl plus A. Steps to indent a paragraph. 1. Select the paragraph that you want to indent. 2. Click the increase indent icon in the paragraph section of the home tab. The selected paragraph is shifted to the right. Techie trip. To change the formatting of a paragraph, it is not necessary 
To select the entire paragraph, you can place the cursor at any line of a paragraph or select only a part of the paragraph. Line spacing. Line spacing is the blank space between the lines of a paragraph in a document. We can increase or decrease this line spacing. Steps to add line spacing to a paragraph. 1. Select the paragraph. 2. Click the drop down arrow present next to the line and paragraph spacing icon and select a number from the list. 3. The selected line spacing is applied to the selected paragraph. Techie Trip You can use the following shortcut keys to quickly adjust the line spacing in a selected paragraph. Single spaced lines Control plus 1 Double spaced lines Control plus 2 1.5 line spacing Control plus 5 Alignment Alignment refers to how the text is placed in a document. You can set four types of alignment. Left, right, center or justified for a paragraph in MS Words. Align left. It places the select text in line with the left margin. By default, when you type some text in Word, it is always left aligned. Center. It places the selected text at the center of the left and right margins. It is mostly used for titles or headings. Align right. It places the selected text in line with the right margin. It is often used for placing dates or page numbers in a document. Justify. It places the text evenly between the left and right margins by adding extra spaces between words. It is mainly used while designing books, magazines and newspaper to give a uniform and neat look to the text by avoiding a ragged right edge. Keywords Indent To increase or decrease the space between the left and right margins of a paragraph. Margin The blank space at the sides of a page in a document. Steps to change the alignment of a paragraph 1. Select the paragraph 2. Click the center align icon for the paragraph section 3. The selected paragraph is aligned at the center of the page Techie tip You can use the following shortcut keys for quick alignment of a paragraph Left Control plus L Center Control plus E Right Control plus R. Justify. Control plus J. Adding header. A header is mainly used to display the title, company logo, or chapter name of a document. Steps to insert a header 1. Select the Insert tab. 2. Click the drop down arrow under the header. 3. Select a header style from the list. 4. When a header is inserted into the document, the insertion point appears into the header. You need to type the title of your document in this header section. 5. When your work is over, click the close header and footer button. 6. The header appears on each page of the document. Keyword Ragged Not in the same line Adding footer. A footer is used to display the page number, date and time of the document of author name. Steps to insert a footer. 1. Select the insert tab. 2. Click the drop down arrow under the footer option. 3. Select the blank footer option for the list. 4. When a footer is inserted into the document, the insertion point appears in the footer. Type the page number in the footer section. 5. After finishing, click the close header and footer option. Printing a document. To print a document, you need to connect a printer to the computer. A printed document is called the hard copy. MS Word allows you to preview and control the printing properties of a document before printing it. 
Steps to print a document. 1. Click the file menu. 2. Select the print option from the file menu. 3. Using the up down arrow, set the number of copies you want to print of the document. 4. Click the print option to print the document. Keywords Preview to view how your printed document would look like before actually printing it. Hard copy Data from a computer that has been printed on a paper. Techie Trip you can also use the Ctrl plus P keyboard shortcut key to print a document. Let's summarize. The find option in MS Word is used to search for a particular word or phrase in a document. The find and replace feature is used to replace the word with another word. Indentation is used to increase or decrease the spacing between a paragraph. Line spacing is the blank space between the lines of a paragraph. A header is mainly used to display the title, company logo or chapter name of a document. A footer is used to display the page number or author name. Alignment refers to how the text is placed in a document in relation to the margins.